What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for April 27, 2021, and we just got a brand new patch on the Chinese Tap Tap test servers. We don't know how long this is going to take to get to Android and iOS, so if you guys are wondering why you don't have this update, that's because we're on the test server, it's not out for most users just yet, it's going to take a while, we don't know how long, but this changes everything. PvP is going to be completely different or at least I kind of hope so, because we have some really big changes to enables. Plus, we have some really, really big, amazing changes to Guild Wars and Ace Championship so that more people can actually participate. So let's jump right into it. So first off, part of the patch notes talks about a big old change to Guild Wars. I think it's actually pretty cool because it's going to give more people chances to get the resources from Ace Championship and to participate in Ace Championship. And, well, they're also going to be able to get some skins potentially from Ace Championship. It's going to be a long grind, but there are changes. So number one is Guild War. The rewards for Guild War have changed, and it's changed big. Now, instead of only Royal Amethyst getting the one glory invitation, they've multiplied it by 50. So, yes, now you first place will get 50, but the big change is everybody else is going to be getting the same thing. They're going to get letters no matter what rank you are. So, even if it takes you 10 times as long, even coming in gold amber, you will eventually have enough glory invitations to participate in Ace Championship. So that is a really awesome change because there's a couple changes coming here now as well. It is going to cost 100 of these invitations now instead of two. So it's still essentially if you're getting first place in Guild Wars, you're going to be able to do it every single time essentially um, because this happens once a month. And of course, you have two of those or twice a month basically you have two weeks to get it it's, you know what i mean you're going to be able to participate same as always instead of one and it requiring two you're going to get 50 and it requires 100 so you know what i mean i'm talking it's middle of the night for me guys give me a break <laughs> so that is pretty cool um yeah and as you see it's up the total from one to 50 here for this guild right here which is pretty cool uh one other thing as well the total consumption is going to change to 100 yet. We talked about that. But after the update, the current number of all guilds has been adjusted to 50 times the original. So I don't know necessarily what that talks about. Does that mean they are increasing the total number of teams that can participate? I don't know. I feel like that could be it. Or do they just mean they're going to multiply your current invitations like this? We had one invitation. Now we have 50 invitations. Does that change it? And I don't really know. We're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. Next up, though, we need to talk about the big changes to actual PvP and gameplay. And that is they are changing the E3 enables. So we'll take a look at our penny here that we have. We have enables here. Everything looks normal here. But once you jump in... Uh, E1 looks the same, E2 looks the same, E4, E5. We have a bunch of new purification tiers, which is pretty interesting. So these two go unchanged. Shared fate and resilience are still the same. But there's a couple different things now. Number one is it has been broken up into four different tiers. The first one being mark removal. When a round ends, 100% chance to remove one mark from yourself. Okay, that's pretty strong. That's pretty good if we're not in a CC meta because I feel like just about everybody is going to be running enabling control removal. When a round ends, 100% chance to remove one random control from yourself. So that purify that we have now isn't going to be the end all be all. It removes everything. This could also change things like Aspen Dungeon. Uh, there's a lot of things that could change. <laughs> we do have the next one being dot removal. So it removes one dot from self. PvP, probably not all that important. Maybe somewhere in PvE, that's important. And the last one is attribute reduction removal. When around ends, 100% chance to remove one random attribute reduction from self. So that's like a slow speed, an attack reduction, something like that. Um, this one here seems pretty strong. So I'm going to go over what they wrote in the actual notes. 
adjustment of the empowerment skills empowerment skills no longer affected by transformation magic and seal of light so let me just say that again for you guys, for you guys don't get it the empowerment skills so your enable skills here will no longer be turned off by transformation magic aka doves from sherlock and seal of light from tar we don't care about that part uh because that now means if there is a Sherlock on the field and they dove you, you will now have a 100% chance to remove that control effect from you if you don't have any other control effects on you because you can actually get out of doves now. Right now, Purify cannot remove that dove. It does not work that way because dove effects actually turn your navel off, which is very interesting. The And the empowerment purification skill will be deleted. So yes, we lose just purify and we now have these new four purifications coming our way. Whew, very, very interesting. There's also some other minor changes to this just to talk about before we get too far into what this means for the PvP meta. There are going to be some changes here to some heroes. So when you look at Amon Ra's curse, the curse right here is actually now going to be considered a mark. Previously, there was no way to get rid of Amon Ra's curse. Now, if you do have mark removal as your purify, you can actually get rid of it as well as curse of decay. So that's very, in wait, which one's curse of decay? Wait, that's not carry, right? No, that's devouring mark. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember who has curse of decay at this point. Someone shouted out to me. I'm sure it's very easy. Hold on. Actually, you know what? Is that, is that Forces? Forces have Curse of Decay? Is that the Soul Corruption? Yeah, okay, so Forces is this right here is actually considered a mark now as well. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. So both Amon Ra and Forces essentially getting a nerf because it can be removed now. But of course, they have to have mark removal, which is kind of an interesting thing. The only other patch note we had was Eloise's Soul Scar. Effect type is adjusted to continuous damage. So essentially, this is going to be changed to a dot. You don't know what I mean by it's getting changed to a dot. Is that the enable right here, dot removal, that is going to be a continuous damage, a dot, a damage over time. That can be removed now. If they pick this one, but I highly doubt anybody in PvP are going to pick it. Literally, the two things that people are going to pick, in my opinion, are going to be enabling mark removal or enabling control removal. Now, control removal right now, just because there's quite a decent amount of CC because of Sherlock's in the meta, that's probably going to be the first thing everybody runs until Sherlock disappears, which he might actually disappear. There's a chance he might disappear. Then we might be moving over to mark removal. Why is that? Well, one of the most powerful heroes that has ever hit the game has fallen off the PvP meta. But that's because a lot of her damage that comes from her balance mark just gets swept under the carpet because it gets purified so often, especially if your team does not have a ton of debuffs. Well, now if the enemy team is actually running... CC removal, Purify will not be removing this balance mark. And this balance mark at V4 is kind of crazy. They will take up to 30% of the enemy's max HP, of course, capping out at 3,000 of Ada's attack and not stackable. Ooh, I mean, that's, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Especially if you have multiple Ada's. I think we might see a resurgence on my account when this goes live for everybody. The triple V4 Ada with the triple Transcendence Heroes team. I think we might bring back the V4 Adas. Actually, we never had V4 Adas. We had V3 Adas, which had that really big end of round damage. Order Restore might be hitting really, really big. All thanks to the change that most people, most people are going to be going with control removal. Simply because, I mean, CC is king. Now, the other big thing this affects is... Jara, Transcendence Jara, who should be coming out in about a month from now, has the potential to now not be as good if she is a CC heavy hero, because if everybody is running this control removal, then there's a higher chance her CCs are going to get removed compared to how Purify works right now. So I don't know. Very, very interesting changes.
So what do you guys think? This seems like a really, really good change to me. I've always been really irked and annoyed at how Purify was kind of like the end all be all talent. I almost wish they did something different with Unbending Will and the E5 enables too, but at least they have dressed Purify. I've, I've kind of hated it since it came out. In all honesty, I really like this change because there's more thought process that goes into it, more metagaming, more changes you need to do to your team. So let me know what you, you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss these types of videos right here. And I'll see you guys next time.